Okay. So the next question, the next question on the menu, what is the square root of 18? Square root of 18. Now, you might be thinking, I'll just stick that into my calculator. I'm going to get a nice number for that, of course, right? A uh, square root of 18. Let's do that. It's a uh, 4.242640. Oh, wait a minute. How many decimals are you supposed to write? You don't know how many decimals you're supposed to write. Like, should we write maybe three decimal points? Should we write 300 decimal points? We don't really know. And what if all of them are important? Like, what if we need a thousand decimal points of precision and we only have, and we only included three? That's going to be an issue. So, we want to be able to write this in a simpler form. Um, so that we can, um, we, so that we can write it, so that we can more easily understand what its value is. Okay, so uh, this is a strategy. You want to first look at under the root. Look at value under root, and what we want to do to it is we want to. Um, See if we can factor things out. Okay. Um, and let's try to do it as many times as possible. Get as many terms under the root as possible. So basically looking for smallest factors. or. If you find a factor that also has factors, keep on factoring it out. So let's think about 18. Uh, we know that 18 is 3 times 6, right? 3 times 6, whoops, not 3. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. So we have 3 times 6 under the root. Hey, 6 is 2 times 3, right? So we can do a root under the root 3 times uh, 2 times 3. Okay, now when we get all of the terms under the root to be prime numbers, essentially, um, we can combine them. Hey, we got two 3s. How about we write them as a 3 squared? 3 squared times 2 and here's the here's the magic part anytime you have something squared under the root under the square root you can bring it outside uh, and drop the square and remove uh, power 2 so this will be equal to uh, square root of 18 is equal to 3 times the square root of 2. Um, so we brought the 3 out. The 3 was brought out like this, and it lost its uh, power. And uh, everything left in the root is a prime number, so we can leave it that way. And um, yeah, overall, this is a better solution to the square root of 18 because we know that, like the square root of 2, we know that's about 1.4 or so. Uh, triple that. It's a lot easier to deal with that as opposed to, um, you know, this big root. Um, yeah, it's more easy to understand it. Sounds good. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, the above solution is accurate. solution is correct.